Hello children, this is your maths class and what were we learning? We started the chapter factors, multiples, HCF and LCM, right? And we started the first topic which is divisibility test of numbers. A number is divisible by 6, then certain number 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12 and the condition from which we can understand whether a number is divisible by 6, number is divisible by 7, 8, 9, 11 and 12, right? Now, today we are going to learn the next topic of, of this chapter that is highest common factor. In 4th standard you have already learned highest common factor, right? What is it? It is, the, it is also called what? The greatest common divisor. Now, we shall learn more about it, okay? So, what? how will you find the HC or HC? F of some numbers, given numbers. It can be two numbers or three numbers. Okay. you What will you do? You will write all the factors of the given numbers. These are the steps. Okay. First you will write all the factors. Then write the common factors and write the highest common factor. And highest common factor. This is highest common factor. In short is called HCF. So, HCF is the highest common factor. Now, let us start with an example, okay? We have, we have to find the highest common factor of 15, 25 and 30. So, what will you do? Step by step, first you will write the factors of each. What are the factors of 15? 1, 3, 5 and 15, okay? Now, which are the factors of 25? Factors of 25 are 1, 5 and 25. Okay? Now, which are the factors of 30? Factors of 30 are 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. Okay. So 30 is having more factors. Right. So which are the factors? 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, 30. And 25, 1, 5 and 25. 15, 1, 3, 5, 15. So these are the factors. Now let us see which are the common factors. Okay. Next you will write the common factors. That means common factors. One of the common factors. See, every number, 1 is a factor of every number. So, which is the one, the first common factor you can see? It is 1. Right? Next one. Here there is 2. Which is, that is, here it is 3. 2 is not there in any of these. 3. 3 is it common in th these 3? No. 5. Yes, 5 is common. Right? Here there is 5. Here there is 5. Here there is 5. So, Right? 5. Okay? Next. Anything else you can see? 5. Here it is 15. 15 is here but no 15 here. Okay? With that it ends. So the common factors are 1 and 5. So what will be the HCF? HCF means highest common factor. Okay? Here see. 1 and 5 are the only common factors. So which is the biggest, biggest one in these two? 5. So what will be the HCF? Is 5. So this is how you find when you are given 3 or how many whatever number of numbers. You will first write their factors like this. Then you will take the common factors from this. One will be there. Then you have to take next which are there. A number which is a factor for all these 3. That is called common factor. Okay. Here 1 is there. 3 is not there. 5 is there. See all these are. Having 5 as their factors. So next it is 5. Then after that they don't have any common factors. So with that these are the two common factors. And so the highest common factor is 5. Okay. Now children the next example is. Two numbers given are 9 and 25. Okay. So first we will write the factors of 9 and 25. One is there. Then 3. Then, then comes 9. Next here. 
that is 1, then 5, then 25. Okay? So, these are the factors of 9 and 25. Now, what are the common factors? Say, so, what are the common factors? Only one. So, the common factors, there is only one. So, what will be the HCF? HCF will also be 1. That means the HCF of 9 and 25 is 1. Okay. They don't have any other factors which are common. So, HCF is equal to 1. Okay. And here 9 and 25 are co-prime numbers. So, co uh, HCF of co-prime numbers is always 1. Okay. Now, let us go to the third example given. Now, the third example given, 16 and 32. So, first we will write the factors, 16. 1, 2, then 4, then 8, then 16. Next one, 32. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and then 32 itself. Now, see these two numbers. What can you, which are the common factors? One, then there is two, there is four, there is eight, and there is sixteen. See? All the factors in the first number are the factors in the second one. You know why this is happening? Because 16 into 2 is 32. That means 16 is a factor of 32. Okay. So in such a case, the highest HCF is equal to 16. That is, if two numbers are given and one of the number, one of the number this number means 32. It's a multiple of the first number. That means the first number will be the HCF. See 16. 16 here, 16 here. Because 16 into 2 is 32. Okay, so 16 is a factor here. And here the number is itself 16. That means it is having 16 as a factor. So what will be the HCF? It will be 16. Why? Because this is a multiple, multiple of this. So, if one of the number is a multiple of the other, then the first number, which is a, uh, not the multiple, the other one, the uh, factor will be what? The highest common factor. Okay? So, in, there are two numbers and this number is a multiple of this. That means this will be the HCF. Okay? Now, so, we have done three examples. In one, you got... 5 as the HCF and the second one they were co-prime numbers. So they had only 1 as the HCF and the third one here you can see 1 is this. This is a factor of this. That means uh, this is a multiple of this. Means 16 into 2 is 32. So in such a case 16 will be the highest common factor. Okay. Among these two the number which is a uh, um, which has to be, uh, which uh, this, this number, which multiplied by another will give you 32, which this is a factor of 32. Okay, that means this will be the HCF among the two numbers. Okay, when you consider these two numbers. Okay, so three examples, they are given in your textbook itself. You can go through it. Okay, now let us do assignment one.